Tatum Talk. Welcome to my channel. This is just a very quick video because I just learned something new. <clears throat> you have to, Tarot is not a set it and forget it platform. When you first get started, all your research is gonna tell you to make your settings, um, everything positive <clears throat> so that you can stand out, so that you can get bookings, so that you can be ranked. It's gonna tell you to uh, offer the early bird discount, offer incentive if they book for seven days or 30 days, um, offer free delivery to the airport. I did all of those things. Yes, I got bookings every week, but what you have to remember is to come back and change your settings. Here it is, Labor Day weekend starts tomorrow. It's September the 2nd today. I have a booking this weekend. I agreed to this booking willingly maybe three weeks ago. And so I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even realize that it was Labor Day weekend that I was uh, agreeing to, that I was booking for, confirming for. I didn't realize it until way after. For some reason, I feel like Labor Day came a little late this year, didn't it? So anyway, I said, okay. And then now I'm regretting it because it's a four day weekend. It's, it's Friday morning at 10 a.m. I don't get the car back till Monday evening at 10 p.m. So they have it all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then all day Monday. I'm only making 205. This is Labor Day weekend. I should be making more than that. I have a BMW, I should be making more than that. This was my fault though. So I feel bad, extra bad. Like last week, I still could have, even earlier this week, I could have canceled the booking. But I don't wanna ruin somebody's weekend, somebody's plans, so I'm just gonna ride with it. Let's look at performance. This is another reason why you don't wanna cancel. I don't really wanna cancel. Look, if I'm trying to get to all-star host, I'm almost there. The next time they assess is October the 15th. We're in the beginning of September. And these are my, my uh, metrics. So I did good here, my response rate. Here, I'm a little bit below 90%. I'm at 86 because of my acceptance rate. And here, my commitment rate. So you should be at 95. I'm at 92. And then this is fine. I get good ratings, good reviews. Sometimes I have to, it's like pulling teeth to remind people to leave these reviews. And this is how many trips I have. So if I improve in these two areas this month, possibly by October 15th, I could become the all-star host. So that's another reason why I was kind of hesitant to cancel. I don't want to ruin someone's plans, but also it's my fault. And then on top of that, my acceptance rate so here we are but for you out there i want you to look at my settings and then take heed and look at yours and make sure this doesn't happen to you because had i known it was labor day weekend i myself would have plans i now can't do anything because i only have the one car and now i'm renting it out and i feel like i'm not being compensated for it as much as i should be but again my fault so let's look at what I did wrong, and you don't do this too. Okay, so I'm basically gonna show you my error, and hopefully you don't make the same mistake. I'm on the Tarot page, I'm already logged in. Um, let's just see what my calendar looks like. So I come here, you go to host, your drop down, then you go to vehicles, right? This is, today is Friday, today is Thursday, the day before the Labor Day weekend. So the Labor Day weekend starts tomorrow. I have a booking tomorrow that I wish I had not accepted. Friday, the 3rd of September at 79 a day. The next day, Saturday, 83. The next day, Sunday, 85. They bring it back Monday, but not till nighttime at 10. So that's 76. Now altogether, that comes to 323. But what I'm receiving is 205. And when I investigated that, the reason why is because I have 
um, these these fees, these discounts rather, set. You see how I had these built-in discounts, the three-day discount, the early bird discount, and then the Turo fee. And this is what I'm left with. I wasn't aware, or rather I did put these discounts on, but I forgot. I set them in the very beginning when I first signed up, I forgot about it. It's Labor Day weekend. They should not have gotten these discounts and uh, Turo already had the calendar set at a lower rate. Now, when you first sign up to Turo and everything that you read and everything that you um, watch videos on, it's gonna tell you, you want to hurry up and get your, you know, get your bookings coming in. You want to be um, available. Your availability is uh, in location and delivery. See, I'm on the left hand side, location and delivery. So you set your hours. No, that's not it. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. It's in settings, right? So you come across at the top. It's in settings. And this is your pickup and return hours. Now you can select this one. I'm always available, but I selected a day, a, a pickup and drop off time for each day. And look, this is when I was very ambitious in the beginning because I have 7 a.m. I don't even get up that early. So let's change that since I'm here. We'll put that at nine. Nine is more reasonable. delivery free I'm not that far from the airport um, a little under 20 minutes so it's not that convenient for me to drop off and also get back um, the train is directly across the street at the airport by me and the train is directly across the street from my building so it's not an inconvenience so I made it free um, they tell you do that in the beginning they tell you uh, you know give discounts to urge people to, to choose your book, your listing. So let's go look at those discounts because that's that was my error too. The discounts are, you go back to host, you go to your listing, you go in, in your listing, and then over to the left where it says pricing and discounts. This you wanna change because when I first set it up, up everything, I gave discounts, right? I gave, I gave discounts. I gave three day discount, 10% off. Seven day discount, 15, 30 day discount, 30. I did my settings according to somebody else's settings. Like I watched their video and this is what they did. So this is what I did. Seven days in advance, another 5% off. Okay, so. That's why this weekend, I'm only getting what I'm getting, which I feel like is not enough, is because I have these settings in here. So I might as well change those discounts while I'm here. Take out this three-day discount and a seven-day discount. And then there's an early bird discount. When you look at your calendar and you have, like I, I recently just changed all of these dates, all of these dates here, I just upped them. The reason why is because I realized when I go look on Toro's calendar, there's a built-in discount. So let's go over to Toro. First, let's pick a day and look at the same date here so we can look at the same date there. So we're gonna look at this day, September 14th. September 14th, the 15th, and then let's look at the weekend, the 18th, right? So I have 88 during the week. I have 899 on the 18th. So now let's jump over to the calendar. And you should check out your calendar. Go to the site as if you are a guest. So you go and you search your own car. 
Now make sure in order for you to find your own car, you're not putting in a date that's it's booked. So you want to put in something that's open, right? So we'll check what I say, the 18th. All right, so we'll check this Monday and we'll check um, this to the end of the week, the 17th. And then we'll come back and look at the weekend after. So search. So let's see, let's find me. No, wait a minute. As if I was a guest, right? So I have to filter it to a BMW so I'm not seeing all the cars. Vehicle make. Right here, BMW. And now, to even narrow it more, let's pick my model. Five series. Okay, I should find it quick. Oh, look, it's right here. You see how I have... I showed you 88 a day, right? They have 71 a day. And now if we change the date to the weekend, which was the 18th, so let's do the 18th and the 19th. I had 99 and they have 94. Okay, so you have to be aware that the date that you see on your calendar, and this is your calculation, is not what's going to show up on their calendar on the front end the one that customers see so you're going to have to make your 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 internal calendar higher so that the external part of it can show at the weight that you really want because they always have that built-in discount i just learned this two weeks ago maybe other people knew this but i didn't know it and then the other thing is project right i didn't know when this person booked, I did not know, I wasn't aware that this weekend was Labor Day weekend. I wasn't even thinking about it in mid-August, so I just agreed to it. It sounded reasonable to me at the time, but now that it's Labor Day weekend upon us, I have something that I could possibly do myself, but now I won't have a car. And it's not really worth it to be gone for four days and I'm only making 205. So you want to project and you want to go forward into the you want to go forward into the next months and, and do holidays ahead of time. So I have another book in here. Um, this also came before I changed my rates. But Turbo had the weekend rate set at a decent price. During the week, I wish it was just a little bit higher, but it's not bad, okay? So go go now while, you, while you're watching this video into the holiday. Make sure you go into the holiday weekends and put it up. I put mine up just a little bit more that week. I don't even know what I'm doing that week. I may not even keep it on the schedule, but in case somebody books it way ahead of time, at least I'm prepared. Go all the way through to the end of the year in December. Oh, I didn't do this month yet. So I have to come into December. And for the last two weeks, I have to up the price. In fact, since I'm here, I might as well do that now. So you'll come over here. You'll edit the price. Um, I haven't even looked at the market to see what everyone else is doing. But for now, just in case someone books it out, I'm just gonna put it up to something. This is a Saturday. Um, I'll do 90 and I'll do the next day as well, the 19th. And then I'll do during the week, just a little bit less. 85. And that 85 is gonna be through to the 24th. Uh, well, that's Christmas Eve, so the 23rd. And then I have to put it back up again for these dates. One twenty-five um, until the 26th or yeah the 26th Sunday 
And then one day, change that again. And then you gotta think about New Year's right after that. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing this far in advance. <laughs> 